Hi again, teachers. I am here with your part three of the um, Google Meet, Google Drive, and Upload to YouTube uh, series. This is part three where I will show you how to process your video on YouTube and how to get through those last steps. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get to embedding a Google Classroom video through YouTube, but I might not get there in this video. That might be a separate one. So I'm here at the last step that we were at. Um, I am requiring a title here, or rather YouTube is requiring a title. So I'm going to call this tutorial just for our purposes here. Um, description, you don't necessarily need to have. Um, for thumbnails of your video, you can choose a still from your video, or you can upload your very own thumbnail, which is going to be a video after this one that I'll create. Um, for playlists, you can make a new playlist right on your channel. Playlists are nice because they automatically play the next video in your series. You don't have to have a playlist though. You can just have videos on your channel. But if you'd like to create a, a new playlist to sort your video into, you just press new playlist and add a title and that's it, okay? I like to, as I said in the last video, uh, make this made for kids to close off that comment section. So I'll click yes, it's made for kids. And we don't really need to mess around with the more options down there. So I'm going to click next. My video is finished processing. You don't need an end screen necessarily. Um, and you don't necessarily need cards. YouTubers have those links at the tops of their videos sometimes. Um, but for our purposes, we're just going with simplicity. So we don't need to add all those extra bells and whistles. We're pressing next. And now I can save or publish. I recommend making this public. Um, and not private, only so that more people can access your video, both kids and parents. Um, you can also schedule when your video will go live. So say you were recording a video today, Wednesday, and you wanted a video not to be posted until Friday, that would be when you would use that option. And then before you publish, check the following, do kids appear in the video? So YouTube likes to make sure that we are not, um, that we are not having kids in our videos or um, or breaking any policies and laws there. And then when I'm done, I need to click publish. Goodness. Okay. So I'm clicking publish. And now I see that the video link is right here. Um, and I can copy the video link by clicking this handy button. You don't necessarily need to highlight the link over here. You can just click this button here. And now I see that my link is copied to my clipboard. I'm going to hop over to Google Classroom and hopefully I'll be able to get there fast enough before this video um, recording has to end. Screencastify, the free version of it has five minute videos only. Okay, so I'm back to my Google Classroom and I can create um, a material. And when I create the material, I can add the title. I'm gonna add video just for our purposes here, add, and I can actually add directly from YouTube to my Google Classroom. And instead of video search, I'm going to click URL and I'm going to paste that URL right here. And there is my video. Okay. Um, this is a great way to make sure that your students can see your videos from any device, a smartphone, Chromebook, um, or any other device, even a tablet, as long as they have the YouTube app or can access the YouTube website. Um, and that's all there is to it. That's my three part series. I will come back with more videos uh, very soon but I want to get this series up because many of you do want to give instruction on the video, um, on the video apps that G Suite offers. And Google Meet is a creative and simple way to make a video for your students and also be able to share your screen. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.